Hello, beautifuls. How are you today? Thank you so much for joining Tara's Beautiful Care. My name is Tara, and today we're going to talk about Crohn's disease. Uh, as I was posting a video of mine, I seen a woman post um, a comment under one of my videos about Crohn's disease, and I do want to touch on that topic today. So let's begin. What is Crohn's disease? Crohn's disease is a form of inflammatory bowel disease in which one or more parts of an intestinal tract become inflamed. Crohn's disease is a chronic but highly manageable disease. Upon reading here, some of the causes is um, family history, um, and they say ethnicity. For example, Crohn's disease is commonly reported in Jews and Caucasians, and autoimmunity, where the immune system attacks the body own cells, environmental factors such as cigarette smoke or pollution, and they also said that the factors, um, the exact cause of Crohn's disease is not known. So that is one of the um, options that they give us. But as far as what I said in my last video in regards to it being a family history and things of that sort. I also mentioned that it can actually um, be a part of the way that we eat because you're going to learn as we go on in this video that um, in order to relieve the Crohn's disease, you're going to have to eat a certain way, um, do certain things, change your habits up in order to relieve yourself of your of the Crohn's disease. If you have Crohn's disease, the good news is that you have complete control over what goes in your gut and food is your best defense when it comes to beating this disease. The foods you choose to eat can either worsen your disease or they can make it more tolerable. Some people even reverse their symptoms entirely and get off all the medications by making fundamental lifestyles changes that include adopting a healthy regimen. It is important to know that two cases of Crohn's disease are not alike. You may find that most Crohn's patients can tolerate certain foods, but they may make you feel sick. For this reason, it is a good idea to keep all a list of foods that are off limits to you. Writing them down will help you remember. Because Crohn's is an inflammatory disease, the key to fighting is to choose anti-inflammatory foods whenever possible. If you tried to change your reg regimen before and it didn't have much of an impact on your health, don't give up. Some people with Crohn's disease have such a severe case that it takes months of eating a certain way before they can see progress. The important thing is to limit the number of inflammatory foods you are eating as this is the primary cause of the disease. Typical examples of inflammatory foods include processed foods such as baked crackers, margarine, chips, soda, candy, and sweets. Fast foods that contain refined sugars and carbohydrates and caffeine and alcohol. Most people with Crohn's find success when they also cut grains, gluten, and dairy from their diet. Okay, so one of the foods that is great to choose and is anti-inflammatory is pineapple. Pineapple is a delicious fruit that is perfect for people with Crohn's disease. This is because pineapples contain an enzyme known as bromelain has been shown to reduce gut inflammation and intestinal pain. As an enzyme, it also helps digest protein and has even been shown to help digest and absorb nutrients more efficiently. This is important for someone with Crohn's because intestinal inflammation often gets in the way of absorbing the nutrients you need to stay healthy. Now, one study found that parmalain perm decreases gut inflammation in patients with Crohn's disease by inhibiting the secretion of 
pro-inflammatory. The best part is that pineapple is so tasty, you shouldn't have a problem fitting it into your regimen. Eat it plain or add it in a salad. And some people like it added to Greek yogurt for natural sweetness. The next one is wild um, caught salmon. Salmon is an excellent source of one of the best anti-inflammatory ingredients ever. Omega-3 fatty acids are a unique type of polyunsaturated fatty acids that are extremely useful in reducing in inflammation associated with studies have shown that people who eat salmon and other sources of omega-3 have a reduced need for anti-inflammatory drugs such as the ones that are commonly used to treat Crohn's. The next one is coconut oil. Coconut oil is highly anti-inflammatory which makes it a great food to add to your anti-Crohn disease diet. It is especially beneficial when you cut out other forms of highly processed oils, such as the vegetable oils, soybean, and canola oils. These oils have been hydrogenated, which means they are heated to high temperatures and chemically altered, which makes them hard to digest and provokes inflammation in the gut. On the other hand, coconut oil contains long chain fatty acids that are easier to digest because they are smaller in size. And research shows that a diet high in good fats, such as the ones in coconut oil, has been shown to reduce the harmful bacteria associated with Crohn's disease. Try cooking your vegetables and meats in coconut oil as opposed to vegetables oils. You can also add some to smoothies or homemade baked goods. The next one is cucumbers and cucumbers are enormously underrated as a vegetable. They're great for people with Crohn's disease because they're made of mostly water to help keep you hydrated and flush toxins out of the body. They're also a good source of vitamins A and C and folic acid to reverse inflammation. Research shows that eating cucumbers may help prevent constipation. Be sure to eat the skin as that's where many of the nutrients are. The next one is flax seeds. Flax seeds, just like salmon, flax seeds, are another excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids plus they're plant-based which makes it a good option if you're vegan or just looking to eat more plants you can use them as a gluten-free substitute in your baking or add a few tablespoons to your morning bowl of oats for a nutty crunch the only time you'll want to avoid eating black seeds and other small seeds are during a flare. This is because the small seeds could irritate your digestive system and cause further pain or inflammation. If you're flaring, try flax seeds oil instead. You'll still get all the healthy omega-3 fatty acid benefits, but without the seed-like effects. One study found that flaxseed oil acted as an antiviral agent due to its laxative effects, which make it a great tool if you're suffering from constipation. Be sure to start small if you're not sure how it will affect you. The next one is spinach, green leafy vegetables such as spinach are the best vegetable for people who suffer from Crohn's disease because they are easier to digest than others, especially broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. They are also high in anti-inflammatory ingredients such as antioxidants, fiber, and vitamins. Some people find that raw vegetables cause stomach pain and bloating, so you may want to cook your spinach in some coconut oil to make it easier to digest. Cooking your spinach in healthy fats also enhance the absorption of the protective nutrients in the vegetables, such as antioxidants, 
and some vitamins. Try adding sauteed spinach to stir fry dishes. It goes great when mixed into grain based meals or as a side to a meat based dish. Add some to your favorite salads, omelets, and smoothies. Next one is papaya, and papaya contains a healing enzyme known as papain that is needed to help break down protein, which can make it easier for you to break down meals during a flare, in addition to being high in flavonoids lutein. One cup of papaya also contains 224% of your daily recommended intake of vitamin C which has antioxidant properties in the body to help heal and repair, repair inflammation. Papaya might be hard to find in your local supermarket, but if you find it, it's worth investing in, especially during a flare, as it is incredibly soothing on the tummy and easy to digest. Add some to a tropical fruit bowl along with melons, pineapple, mango, and strawberries. They are delicious in smoothies and even in salads. The next one is sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes aren't only delicious. They are packed full of anti-inflammatory antioxidants that combat free radicals, which is often a byproduct of inflammation. It's full of healing and restorative vitamins and minerals that your body needs to restore proper immune health and stop your gut from beating up on itself, so to speak. One medium cooked sweet potato contains 438% of your daily recommended intake of vitamin A, which helps stimulate the production of immune cells to keep you healthy. Try replacing white or russet potatoes with sweet potatoes whenever possible, such as, a, such as alongside a meat-based dish. Slice them up, coat them in olive oil or coconut oil and your favorite spices and bake them for homemade french fries that everyone will love and no one will feel guilty about eating. The next one is avocado. Avocados are packed full of fiber that your digestive system needs to keep it running smoothly. In fact, Avocados contain both soluble and insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber helps add bulk to your stool, which makes it easier to move through the digestive system. On the other hand, soluble fiber draws water into the stool to make it easier to push. It also helps create good bacteria in your gut that is responsible for keeping your entire body healthy. Avocados are also a good source of vitamin A, which are needed to strengthen the muscle wall of the intestinal lining to keep harmful pathogens from entering. They are great if you're trying to watch your carbohydrate intake as they are very low in carbs. Dip your vegetable sticks in some guacamole, add some avocado to your salad, or use avocado in your smoothie as a sugar-free thickening agent. The next one is blueberries. Blueberries are among one of the healthiest foods on the planet. They contain a unique type of oxy antioxidants that helps eliminate toxins from the body that accumulate in tissues and organs and cause painful inflammation. Just like avocados, they contain both types of fiber to help clean out the digestive system. Research shows that the health benefits of blueberries on the gut are enhanced when you pair them with probiotics. This is because blueberries help your body absorb two substances that are used as a cellular energy when fiber is broken down in the intestines. 
Mixing blueberries with probiotic has been shown to reduce inflammation, inhibits the production of bad bacteria in the gut, enhances the protective intestinal layer, and increases the number of anti-inflammatory molecules found in the digestive system. The next one is walnuts, and walnuts are a tree nut that contains healthy fats to help you absorb nutrients. They're also high in anti-inflammatory properties as well as vitamin E, which is needed for its antioxidant properties to heal and repair the gut. A one ounce serving of walnuts contains two grams of fiber, six different vitamins and minerals and over four grams of protein they tend to be calorie dense so keep your serving size down if you're watching your calories the good news is that they are very filling so a little bit goes a long way add walnuts to your morning oatmeal along with some blueberries or eat them raw as a snack when you need an energy boost dates they improve your gut health and reduce toxicity due to their soluble fiber. And dates, um, they feed the good bacteria in your gut. And dates can also act as a la laxative. So if your Crohn's disease has prevented you from going for a few days, it might be a good idea to eat a few dates. There are several types of dates tend to be the most popular which is medjool. They're plump and delicious and usually have a pit inside and them that will you'll need to remove before eating. Try removing the, the put and adding a walnut in the middle of the dates for a tasty natural snack in between meals. An orange a day keeps the doctor away. But it's good. It's a good place to start. And one large orange, orange contains about 18% of your daily recommended fiber intake, which is essential when it comes to restoring your digestive health because it restores the health of your gut bacteria. Your gut bacteria houses about 80% of your immune system. This means that when your gut is damaged, so is your immune system. Repairing the stomach is the first step in restoring your immune system and preventing it from attack attacking its own tissues and organs. Oranges are also high in vitamin C, which is a known immune system booster. Keep in mind that eating the whole fruit is better than drinking juice, as you can get the fiber from the orange. Beets are naturally detoxing. They pack quite a nutritional punch for not a lot of calories. A 3.5 ounce of serving of cooked beets contains 8 different vitamins and minerals including 20% of your recommended daily intake of folate. Folate levels are often low in people with Crohn's disease. It's a B vitamin that is needed to help with a cell repair such as in the case of the reconstruction of the cells that line the protective intestinal layer of the gut wall that is often damaged during a Crohn's flare. Beets also contain a pigment called betalain, which has antioxidant properties to reduce inflammation. Finally, it's loaded with fiber to help keep digestive ailments in check. Try roasting some beets at home and adding them to salads. Some people even drink beet juice as it's natural sweet. But remember that you'll be missing out on the fiber unless you eat the whole thing. Asparagus is a prebiotic food, meaning that it fuels the good bacteria in your gut. This is beneficial because Crohn's disease causes inflammation that attacks and tears down the good bacteria that you have. Replacing it with healthy foods is the best way to overcome a flare. Try sauteing 
some asparagus to go alongside a fresh piece of wild caught salmon for dinner or add some to an omelet in the morning along with a bowl of fresh fruit for a meal your gut will be appreciating. But not least, but bananas are a great food to eat anytime. They're bland and easy to digest, so you can eat them during a flare without worrying about worsening your symptoms. They're also soft and mushy, so your digestive system doesn't have to work as hard to break it down. Finally, bananas are a prebiotic which means that they provide fuel or an energy source to the good bacteria in your gut. Put some bananas in the freezer overnight and blend it in a high-speed blender the next day for a dairy-free frozen dessert that tastes just as good as ice cream. If you like the information in this video, please like and subscribe and hit that bell so you won't miss another video. Thank you so much and guys have a wonderful week. Take care. God bless. Bye bye.